So, hey everyone, today is Friday and you know what that means? Yep, it's Fix It Fridays. Um, today is going to be a really interesting episode. Um, so I'm here, just Baron in the Just A Lab. And one of my friends dropped these Logitech surround song speakers. Um, let me just, so it's a Z506. And interesting enough, so he bought one and then it stopped working. And this guy thought it would be a good idea to buy another one. And it also stopped working. So I might keep one. Hmm. So in that this video, I'm going to just be cracking this open and try to investigate exactly what is wrong with it. Um, so if I post this video, then I would have solved the problem. But if I don't post the video, then how would you know that I didn't solve the problem? Should I still post the video if I don't fix it? fix it but if I don't post the video of me not fixing it then how would you know to comment on if I should post so oh, that's a dilemma there. a dilemma there, hmm. a dilemma there. Hmm. so stay tuned to find out how I went about trying to repair both of these that's what I'm going to be going to be doing in this video today is speaker repair um so I hope the audio in this video is pretty good so yep so it's two Logitech strong songs and I guess play intro All right, so, so any box, we got speakers and cables. So let me just try to take things out without damaging it. All right, so I'm gonna organize this in one, two, three. All right, so from what I understand, this only needs, yeah, this is the only speaker that needs to be plugged in. Um, it has a kind of serial connector in the back here. So yeah, it has a kind of serial RS-232 kind of connector here. Um, so I guess this is the, more or less the brain or the control oper of the operation. I'm going to put that back in there. And. Okay. So nothing's happening when I press that button. Let me see. You suck. All right. So that says a couple of things. So it's either there's a short on this side here. There's a short inside of here. For this button. Um, so I could test that first. Oh, I can test to make sure this thing is actually getting power, right? So, I think the first thing to do is probably open up this. I think that might be the easiest or the um, part of least resistance. Uh, that way, I don't have to interfere with any of these high voltage stuff. So, it might just be this is um, this button alone here it could just be bad. Let's see if we can find something to open up inside of here. So I'm just taking out the circuit board behind. So yeah, I'm going to test the button on the main speaker. Um, or whatever speaker that is. Good label, like left, right. Okay, no. Um, because if this button here isn't working, then that's the whole problem. But if it is, then the problem will most likely be inside of the subwoofer or the power unit, which is a... Uh, another headache there on its own so um so i'm putting my multimeter here in continuity mode so when i press both together okay not beeping song uh hopefully this is the problem hello darkness my old friend so the button is working so when i press the button put the button off when I put on the button, it's beeping. So we need to trace back also to see if the problem might be in here 
Oh, it could also be a short any wire. I'm gonna test this wire now and see if I can get or find each of these pins. Because most likely this will trigger a transistor that will power in this entire thing. A few moments later. Right, so there's no short in here either. So bad news is the problem is inside of here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this back together, which is the control unit, so I don't lose anything there. And we can move on to the another part of this system to kind of figure out what else could be the problem. So, Alright, so the next thing I want to do is unplug this subwoofer. Um, I'm going to need to be very careful because we're going to have some capacitors and stuff in here that might still be charged, depending, not sure yet. But... Um, we're going to open up this and see what's going inside of here. I'm hoping it might just be a, a fuse problem, but it could be something worse, like a transformer or something, so, which means I'll have to go to the store and see if I can get a replacement um, or something. So, So I'm trying to figure out how to get everything out of here. Okay, um, it seems like I might actually have to physically destroy this box to, to get access to this stuff. Like, who designed something like this? This is designed not to be broken. Inside of it, it smells really good, like like nice wood. I think it's just. I was able to get this out. It was just had just being held back by some glue. So that's going to be subwoofer. And this is power. No capacitors seem broken. I'm seeing a bit of rust. Because that shouldn't be much of a problem no notice about damage on the circuit board let me test that DC in and see what's going on so, first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna test this AC cable so I'm gonna plug it in now if you want to test any AC cables be very careful because you know it's AC so um, make sure I'm putting a multimeter in volts AC we're getting 110 there. All right, so this is this cable is good. So the question is, is why aren't we getting DC out? And if we are supposed to get DC out, what are DC out supposed to be? So plug it back in. I'm going to put my multimeter back now to DC because that's what we're supposed to be expecting. Hmm, that's a problem there. So the AC to DC converter inside of here is not working. And it seems like that is what's causing all of this problem. So let me try putting on my power supply and see. It might not have enough current. Um, I need to figure out what kind of voltage this takes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the speaker at the bottom. And see if I can get access to it. So... So my goal now is to try to get our power supply out, see if I can find a replacement part for it, and um, if I can get the voltage off of it, or if I can figure out what kind of voltage it takes, I can also um, just just get a back, I guess get an next power supply for it, like an external one. It's no longer straight. <laughs> My poor drill. Now I should be able to take this out. So this right here is the problem. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it. Most likely it might be a capacitor or something. Um, the time it takes to go and try to debug this might be worth it. What I can do is I can just check the fuse and make sure the fuse is good.
So the fuse is good. The capacitors look blue, no? Oh. So that resistor right there is probably the cause of this whole thing. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I need to see if I can figure out what is the voltage on this, um, the output voltage, because if I can find out what the output voltage is, then I can probably just replace, um, try my power supply and see if we can do the, the output. Several bad puns later. Um, I don't think it's worth my time to actually go and try to figure out exactly what's wrong with this power supply, so I'm just going to just like, you know, toss that. Um, I did some research on that original power supply sheet vote, so I heard somebody actually used the uh, laptop power supply to power it. I'm going to just patch this in with another cable and get rid of that whole um, supply there. So let's, let's, let's see if that, that's, that will work. So putting that in there. So I'm going to set this to 15 volts. I'm going to just kind of play it and listen and see what's going on. 15 volts, 5, five amps. So I'll put it somewhere in half. So that's... So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to power it from my DC power supply. I have a little Bluetooth device here. So I'm going to just power that on and plug that into the audio in. Yep, so I'm connected via Bluetooth to my phone. And they're working. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to see if I can find an alternative power supply for this. And put it back all together and we should be done here. That's one splice into this but i want to test it with this thing first and then i would sew up everything after this whole thing goes here and it's on so right now it's being powered from this hp power supply so and it's working <laughs> So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just use some heat shrink and get this thing back together. Right, so that's where we go there. So let me just... So everyone, as you can see, I was able to fix the speakers. It, it was a simple, um, it was actually this thing here. This power supply here was bad. Nope. So, um, it's about 15 volts, three amps. I read online that it could be around 13 to 15 volts. I have replaced it with a 19 volt, um, five amp laptop power supply that I had from a broken laptop. So, um, so if anybody wants to so i set up everything here now and i have the bluetooth module inside of it so let me find my cell phone so i'm going to just put it on and finally the light has come on right and i should be able to so all speakers are playing and the subwoofer is also playing But yeah, so hopefully um, my friend appreciates this and the kind of work that went into this. Yeah, so what I look online, a replacement power supply is probably going to cost around about 25 US, I saw. Um, but then also you have to think about shipping and also you have to also take into account that um, the manufacturer actually doesn't sell these things. So it's a third party power supply and then you're not sure if that's going to come in good. Um, I didn't want to double, I didn't want to go and try to fix the power supply also because um, I'm, I'm seeing two burnt resistors in it um but that's a rabbit hole i don't want to go down right now maybe if, you know i really need a power supply i want and i could fix that when i might but to go and try to find this the the needle in the haystack there just is a waste of my time so as i said so putting the hp power supply in it was just something just so much easier to do um and yeah, that's about it. So I just used heat shrink and heat up everything inside it and make sure everything is not touching. And I still have another one to fix. I'm not exactly sure what the problem might be in this one, 
I'm guessing it's going to be along the same lines, but it's late right now, so I'm going to call that a day. And hopefully next week, Friday, I tackle this one. And if it's the same problem, I won't post the same video again. Um, but if it's something different, I will, obviously, um, I'll try to introduce you guys to that problem. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. Um, this is Just Sparon, and on this channel, I do just about anything you can do yourself. And see you next Friday for another Fix It Fridays. Enjoy your safe Friday, everyone. Seems like I might actually have to physically destroy this bottom.